Hello, my name is Anthony Cummins and welcome to this video. We're going to talk about saving a samurai school. As dramatic as it sounds, that might become the case, to be honest with you. Um, as some of you may or may not know, I actually track down and accumulate um, ninja manuals and we try to produce them in English as best we can and publish them and we've got a string of works behind us now. But in my travels I find different ninja scrolls and I find different things. And um, generally ninja scrolls fall into two categories, you get military ninja scrolls or samurai school ninja scrolls and what I mean by that is um, ninja information that has been passed down in a non-strategy schools, more of the uh, fighting schools, so for example swordsmanship or like using spears and things like that. So, in my travels I uh, came across my first real ninja scroll that I got to buy for myself instead of just a photocopy from a library and this was called the Mizukagami as it's known, it's famously known as the Mizukagami and um, we, you know, this put us on a search for uh, the origin on which school it belonged to. So we found out that it belonged to a school called Mukyoshi Ryu. However, there is a, after meeting some people, we think the pronunciation is a little bit, uh, pronunciation is a little bit different. Um, so at the minute it's called Mukyoshi Ryu, but it may be Mubyoshi Ryu and there's other bits to get along. But we'll get into all that boring stuff later um, on another video. So, uh, usually we find Ninja Scrolls and they're dead and gone, they're long, the, the people who wrote them are long dead, the people who continued the work are long dead, the schools are long dead, and they're usually just, you know, static and just pieces of documents left on library shelves in nice little boxes with a, a number on the side and that's all that's done with them. So uh, we're trying to revive that, which is a problem because most of the time these things are like, you know, kuden or secret or they're not there. So what we've done now is we came across a gentleman called Uematsu Sensei and here's a picture of him. Now this man actually does uh, Gojuru Karate, which of course is Okinawan. But what is amazingly for me it's amazing in a negative way that this gentleman has been looked over or missed by the Japanese samurai community. Nobody at all knows he really exists. Of course that's possibly his own fault for not, you know, publishing or, um, what's the word I mean, not publishing but um, not um, promoting himself or his school. But this man is uh, obviously a karate instructor and he's also got a certificate in um, Shinge, which school is it now? Um, Shinkage Ryu, I think it's Shinkage, I think it's Yagi Shinkage, I can't remember which one he did, uh, the, the two branched off, so he does things in that, however hidden underneath all that, in fact it's not hidden, it's just that he himself said that nobody's really that interest, uh, interested, is the school called Mukyoshi Ryu. Now Mukyoshi Ryu or Mubyoshi Ryu was uh, started in about 1650s, something like that, 1660s, and um, it is a samurai sword school and it has um, fighting in it, sword fighting, it has hidden weapons, it has shuriken jutsu, it has all these things in it, it's like a normal typical Katori Shinto Ryu style school. But amazingly it's got ninjutsu in it. Now it's got what so far I've um, tracked down the existence of four scrolls in this, ninja scrolls in this school and the ninja scrolls uh, um, it's a bit complicated, I'm not saying you can't understand this but it might get a bit boring, but I don't think all of the scrolls existed in all of the lines. I think these scrolls are scrolls from the different branches of the school and I just happen to have accumulated them. Uh, I say accumulated them, I've accumulated three of the four. The master himself only has one of the four, uh, so I'm going to donate um, copies back to the school so it reintroduces itself into the school. So, but one of the one of the four scrolls is actually in the Iga Ueno Museum or the Iga Ueno Prison, as Nick likes to say, uh, don't you, Nick? Um, they they literally not going to let us see it for a long time, if ever. And uh, sorry, where am I up to? Right. So we've got this samurai war school. Sorry, not samurai war school. We've got a samurai fighting school um, of Kenjutsu, and it's got some, uh, what has become quite a famous ninja scroll. The Mizukugami is what we could say second tier ninja scrolls, they've got Bansen Shukai, Shonenki, the new Igun Koga Kimura stuff, uh, Nimpiden. 
Mizukogami is second tier in that. It's still famous, more famous than other things, and it comes in the same sort of famous level as Ogiden and um, uh, Mizukogami Kampo. It's a different scroll, by the way, that one. So, we've got this scroll, and I obviously have a copy because I own, and it turns out now, magically, I am like over the moon. Now I've seen this guy. Uh, I own the oldest copy in existence of it, and one of the oldest ninja scrolls in existence actually, because mine is not a transcription date, it's a, a written date of uh, 1678. So I showed him pictures of it and he's, he's very impressed. So, for those who are not quite grasping what I'm saying, you've got a samurai school of swordsmanship that has shuriken jutsu in it, it has magic in it, it has all that sort of Buddhist stuff in it, and it has ninjutsu in it. Now. Um, I am lucky enough to have had Yoshie translate this for my birthday last year. For my birthday, about a year ago, she translated the Mizukogami and dropped it in Dropbox, so we're working on the day, so I woke up on my birthday and I'm like, oh, you know, birthday, and Dropbox goes, bing, and it's like, you have a birthday, it's a birthday file, and it was like, what's this? Open it up and Yoshie translate it on, and it's, um, it's ace, it's really good. But uh, it does say at the end, it says, we are not shinobi, we are not on the shinobi path, we have learnt these from those who are on the shinobi path. So, but we've introduced them to our school. Uh, and Sorry, I'm going on a bit here with, without any actual direction, but I'm actually, I suppose, sort of semi-excited inside. Now, so let's get, to, let's cut to the chase. He has students, Umatsu-sensei, he has students. Um, however, his students are all Goju students and they have a limited self. Now, I'm, I'm not saying they are limited, I'm saying they actually admit to Anthony, we don't really teach, we do Goju Ru, we have a basic idea of what our sensei does behind that, but we don't pay much attention to it. Um, which, of course, they're interested in karate. Which means Umasa sensei is the last in a line from the 1600s of people who possess the knowledge of this school, including the ninjutsu. And he's tucked away in a quiet corner somewhere, nobody knows who he is. That's almost the same as Shinkagiryu, Katori Shintori. It should be up there with the rest. Mubyoshi Ryu should be up there with people who are like, ah, original sword schools. But it doesn't have the prestige, you see, because nobody knows it, which means it doesn't have the cash behind it. Like, Katori Shintori will have lots of cash behind it. Shinkagiryu has got lots of, you know, they've got this form of stuff. This is a, a one-man gentleman who's on the fringe of sort of like samurai uh, modern culture, who's got this school and nobody knows about it. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about approaching him to produce the entire school in a book. Because remember, Mokurokus, when Mokuroku means list, when you get a list of skills, you don't know what it means. He's still got all the, uh, not, it's not even kuden, it's just literally, this is what the skill is, this is what the skill is. He's got all the martial skills. So I want to do a book dedicated to uh, recording that school before it dies out, because it will die out very soon. Uh, I'm not saying he will die out, but basically in the next 50 years it will be gone unless somebody takes over from him. And probably not 50 years, the gentleman, probably about 60 plus, I didn't ask. Um, so that means, you know, it's going to die, guys, and we're going to lose a school that's been in existence for over 400 years. Which brings me to my next point. Is there anyone out there who travels to Japan a lot and wishes to train in Mukyoshi Ryu and wishes to train in this school and take it, I'm not saying you're going to take over it, I'm saying take the teachings on board and spread them to the rest of the world. Is there anyone out there who wants to take up that task? I am thinking about, uh, well, so I was talking to Bass the other day, and I'm thinking about doing a Kickstarter video to try and raise funds for a, maybe a three or four month trip to Japan to uh, study, and uh, not study his school in detail, i.e. get certificates in it, but study it enough to write a book about it. So do some academic research and record the entire school, you know, as we can. So, um, what do you think about Kickstarter? Do you think I could raise, I probably need about £7,000. Do you think I could raise that type of money with Kickstarter? Do you think the martial arts community will go for that? That type of thing. Uh, I've got some photographs of, he illustrates his scrolls beautifully as well, and I've got some photographs of uh, the dojo and a couple of videos of what I did. So I've just, I took some random stuff of our day in there. So I spent an entire day, with, not an entire day, half a day with him. It was great. Uh, I want to save this school from going down the pan eventually when, uh, of course, no students take it on. And we want to save a bit of Japanese history. So uh, you can help me save it either financially in probably a few months I'll do this Kickstarter project. 
or if you do come to Japan, please get over there and start training in the school and keep it alive because this is it's literally falling over the edge of the cliff, guys. We we could, we we now us lot, you on watching this and me can either make this school disappear into the shadows of history as a footnote, which will probably end up being a footnote in one of my books if we don't get all the teachings, or we can bring it back and we can push it and let's elevate the school till it matches the Katori Shinto Ryu stuff and the Shinkage Ryu stuff and all these other schools that still exist. Let's put it up there, we have the power to do that, because most of these schools have Western students in it, believe it or not, loads of Japanese schools are actually pushed forward by Western people. So let's keep it going and let's save this school if we can. If there are any rich um, donators out there who want to donate to the, to the basically a few months trip of mine in this school studying it, yes please. That would be superb. So uh, apart from that guys, crack on, find out what you can, do a bit of research and uh, I'll hopefully I'll give you an update when I get an update. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> Right, I'm at North Yoshi Ryu School, and we're just going through the calls. I don't know if I can record them yet, but I'm going to ask. Well, yeah, basically, I mean...